Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video. My name is Floppy, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be going over how to make a Game Pass GUI in Roblox Studio. So in today's tutorial, we're going to be going over two different variations of how we're actually going to do this. We're going to have one script that is just going to be a very simple script, which is going to be prompting us to actually purchase the specific Game Pass. Then and nothing else will be happening. It will just prompt the page and then you can purchase it from there. So the first very simple script, but then we're also gonna have a second script which you can choose to use. So it's either script one or script two. So there's two different variations that you can use here. Um, and then with the second script, what basically is going to happen is if a, if a player, it will work exactly like script one, it will prompt the player the game pass, but then if the person already has the game pass, then a GUI or something will happen in game to notifying them that you already own this game pass. So for starters, you wanna make sure your Explorer and properties are enabled. If your Explorer and properties are not enabled, head up to the top bar here, click on view, and enable Explorer and properties, and they should show up somewhere over your screen. You now wanna go and create your GUI that we're actually gonna be clicking on, or the player is actually going to be clicking on. So you wanna head over here to your Explorer, click on start a GUI, click on the plus button, and insert a screen GUI. Then now your screen GUI, this is just it's just the folder that is going to be holding your GUI. Then you want to click on the plus button next to your screen GUI and insert a frame. This is going to be our main frame which we put throughout the game there. And this is basically where you can control your buttons. If you have another place for, or if you, if you have another area where you want to put your Game Pass button, for example, you have a separate GUI like a Game Pass shop, you can put it really, really wherever you would like. Um, but for this tutorial, we're just going to be making this as our main frame here. It is not necessary, it's just if you have multiple GUIs. So on our frame here now, we can leave that as just frame. It doesn't really matter for now. So we can leave that as frame, but if you want to go and change it to something else, you can. So now that you've inserted your frame inside of your screen GUI, you want to click on the plus button and insert a text button or an image button. It's up to you on what you decide. I'm just going to be using a text button because it's quite simple. It doesn't really matter. But then let's say if you had a special image that you would like to use that the player must click on, then you can also use that just by clicking on the plus button and insert a image button. Should be, if you just search it up, image button just right there. But Wood's gonna be using a text button. So go and customize your text button here. I'm not gonna to do too much. I'm just gonna quickly size up the text here and then also change the name from, let's just type Game Pass. There we go. I think Game Pass will do the job for now. So there's our Game Pass button. So now we need to go and actually add the system that is going to be prompting us the developer, sorry, the, the game pass if we click, go and click on this text button GUI. So we want to click on the plus button here next to our text button and insert a local script. So now that you've inserted a local script inside of your text button, which the player is going to be clicking, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code of the description. It's going to be the first script. Um, simple script, you can just copy that, bring it back to Roblox Studio, remove all the previous code, and then paste in the new code. Now this is a very fairly basic script, so I'm just going to quickly go over it. So here on line one, it goes local marketplace service, game get marketplace service, get service marketplace service. Basically what this is doing, it is getting your marketplace service, which is holding your game pass, your developer products, and also catalog items, and a whole lot more. So it's basically getting our, our service inside of the script here. It then goes local Game Pass ID, and this basically identifies our Game Pass ID, which we're going to be changing here shortly. Then script.parent.mouse button one click, so it goes script to, to, to the parent, and if there's a mouse button one click, it will then go and create a function. Then it goes to our marketplace service, prompt Game Pass purchase, game.players.localplayer, with then our Game Pass ID. Basically, what this is doing here, it is going to our marketplace service, is then it's prompting the game pass purchase and it is prompting to the game dot players dot local player then it is prompting that specific game pass which is our id right up there so it goes game dot players dot local player and then it is prompting that id right there so that is really it now for us to actually make it work with our particular game pass we've kind of just gone over the code here so if we wanted to make it go over our particular Game Pass, what we want to do, we actually want to go and create our Game Pass. Now, if you don't already have a Game Pass opened or created, you want to head over to the main Roblox page. So now that you're on the main Creator Hub, basically to get here, you go on your main Roblox page and then you go and click Create and this will take you over to your Creator Hub. Now, depending on what game or what group or what, sorry, what group your game is actually in, you can go and adjust that right here by the Creator Hub. 
on the on the profile there so now we want to head over to our experience and this is the experience that we are currently working on and that we actually want to go and create the game pass in so i'm going to go click on manage experience then we want to go down here to monetization and where it says passes and then now we want to click create a pass this is basically meaning create a game pass so then you can go and change your image that is going to be actually associated to the item so for example let's say you had a times two walk speed you'd have a times two uh, like a person walking there with some lines behind it for an image for example so go and change that to whatever you want you don't have to change it now but you can change it a little later on and change it to whatever you would like we then want to make it a name so i'm just going to call this game pass simple simply because it's nice and simple and then you can also go and add up to add a bit of a description there once you've done that go and click create pass so as you guys can see the game pass has now been created successfully but it says it's off sale now we want to make sure that our game passes are always on sale so click back on your game pass click on sales and then we want to select item for sale basically meaning so it's like enabled and it is showing blue you then want to enter a price so let's see uh, we'll set a price of we'll just do one robux for now so you can see if i set the price for one robux i'm not going to be profiting from this this is going to go straight back to roblox same with here so the price in robux what this is basically meaning so let's say we had 10 robux here basically what is happening roblox takes a percentage of your um pro, a pro i guess you could say profit so let's say you sell something for 10 robux you'll only get seven robux roblox takes the other 30 percent so the creator earnings are 70 percent and roblox's earnings are 30 percent so you can see here that you it, let's say you had 100 robux here uh, you can see what you're actually going to be profiting per purchase on the specific game pass So now if someone had to go and purchase this I'd only be getting 70 robux. This is simply due to roblox's tax system So I'm going to go and set this to one simply because we're just going to be using it for testing But go and set the price to whatever you want click save changes So now that we've created our game pass and we've also got the price There's one last thing we actually want to do to make sure it all works correctly we want to click on the three dots and click open a new tab. Now this is basically going to be opening our game pass in a new tab, basically where we're able to adjust it, thumbs it up, etc. Now for us to actually be able to test it here in script one, we now want to actually go and delete this game pass from our inventory because basically what happens is when you go and uh, create a new game pass, it is automatically owned by you. It is automatically in your inventory, meaning you don't have to go and repurchase it. So here in script one, because there is no way on actually showing that we already own the game pass what we're going to do we're going to go and click on the three dots here and de click delete from inventory now you do not have to do this only if you're actually wanting to make sure it works for your game or you could even use a friend's account ask and ask them to click on that button so as you guys can see now it is allowing us to purchase this game pass click on the three dots and then click copy asset id and then we want to take that back to roblox studio so now that we're back in roblox studio you want to double click on the id here remove that and then you want to paste in your new ID so now that you've inserted your game pass ID you want to head over here and click on the X button next to your local script then you want to go over to your game settings because now we need to actually go and enable something so we then we want to head over to security and then we want to click on allow third-party sales this basically allows us to sell items in our game we then want to go click on save and now we can go test it out by go clicking up here and click on play so as you guys can see we're now in the base plate and if i go click on our game pass over here you're able to see that it prompts us to purchase this game pass now the reason for this is because we do not already own the game pass if we own the game pass then it will nothing would pop up we would just click the button and nothing nothing would happen no gui would pop up absolutely jack squat would happen so anyway because we don't own the game own the game pass then it prompts it to us now this is just a test purchase so this does not mean i'm going to permanently own it but as i'm aware if i go and click on this again simply because it is a test purchase it will continue to prompt it but if you already own the game pass and a player purchased the game pass and they try click on this button again nothing will happen it's just going to be a, a standstill It'll, i'll be clicking and nothing will be happening so this could work in some games it could work in others it's really up to you on which system you use this is system one and now we are moving over to system two so for system two we're actually now wanting to go and create a different gui this is going to be the gui that is going to be popping up if the player already owns the game pass so we want to head over to our frame here click on the plus button this is our main frame that is holding all of our buttons click on the plus button next to our main frame here 
and then we want to insert another frame. Now this is going to be the frame that is going to be saying you already own the game pass. So we'll put that right here. Just some, something simple, nice and basic. And now also keep in mind if your GUI is layout is different to mine and you put your button elsewhere, that's okay. There's just a couple things that you would need to adjust in the script regarding on where this pop-up GUI is. So I'm gonna go and change the name of this frame now to open GUI. You can go and change it to whatever you want, but you will have to adjust it in the script if you go and choose something else. So I'm just gonna call it open GUI inside of our main frame, just below or just above our text button here. So it should look something similar to this if you're following along. So then we could click on the plus button and set a text label. And now we can really just make this very simple. So I'm just gonna go and change this to text scaled. Where's text scaled? There we go. Uh, you already own this game. And as you guys can see now, if we go and click on the game pass and we already own that game pass, then it, this GUI is going to open up. So here's our main GUI called Open GUI with our text label. We now want to head down here and disable this, basically meaning it is now invisible. And the only time that it's going to become visible is if the player tries to purchase the game pass again and they already own it. But now we want to head over to our text button, which is actually going to be prompting the game pass and configuring everything else. And then we want to now go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio. It's going to be called script two. It's going to be called um, advanced script, something similar to that. You want to go and remove all the previous code and then paste in the new code. Now, basically what is happening here, it is very similar to the previous code. There's just more rega happening regarding if the player has the game pass already. So here it goes script.parent.mouse button one click, it creates a function. We then identify a couple things here, local marketplace. You can all put this really above here if you really wanted to, but I've just gone and put it here in the middle. So then we identify our local game pass ID. So this is our game pass ID. So if you guys remember that ID that we had just before that we put in script one, you wanna go and put that right here. So go and paste in your game pass ID there. So as you guys remember, local marketplace service, it creates, gets the marketplace service, game pass ID, identifies our ID, local has pass, and then local GUI has pass is gonna be used down here in the local success, etc. It's gonna be used down over here. So that's why it's blank at the current moment. Local GUI equals script.parent.parent.openGUI. Now this is where you are adjusting where your GUI is located. Now it can be a little tricky if you've gone and put it in another screen, screen GUI or in a different location somewhere in started GUI it can then get a little bit confusing. But basically, where it is going now here with the local GUI, it's going to the script, so from our script to the parent, to the parent of our text button, so that's the frame, and then it's going to the open GUI. So it's going script.parent.parent.openGUI. And that is basically identify, identifying our GUI that is gonna be opening. Now, depending on what you went and renamed it, and if you've been following the, the exact same steps that I've been doing and your GUI is laid out exactly like this, you then wanna go and change whatever you went and changed your uh, frame that is gonna be opening, you wanna go and change that right here. So let's say you called it fish, you'd go and change that to fish. But our one is called open GUI, we'll just leave it as open GUI. Then on line six, it goes local player equals game.players.localplayer. This basically identifies the player, which is us, the player that is going to be, I guess you could say, purchasing the item. It goes game.players.localplayer, and that is us, our, our, our local player. Here then it goes local success message equals pcal function. Has pass equals marketplace service user owns game pass, player.user ID, and then the game pass ID. So if the player has the game pass, then it's gonna be classed as has the pass. So if the player has the pass, then it will go from there. So marketplace service, user owns game pass, player.user ID, and then the game pass ID, it will then be classed as the player has that game pass. I'll explain a little bit more on here. So if has pass, so if the player does have the game pass, which we found up here, then after the player tries to go and purchase it again, then a GUI.visible is going to equal true. So our GUI, if you guys remember, our GUI is our open GUI frame. It then goes to the property of our, sorry, the properties of our frame, and then it goes down to the visible and it enables it, basically meaning it is true, that it is now currently visible. Then it waits three seconds. You can go and adjust this however long you want your GUI to show if a player tries to go and purchase that game pass again. 
and then it just basically makes it false again because what if you don't have the, the making it false here the GUI is just going to stay on your screen until you leave the game so it's a bit you know you don't want that so we only want it to show for a short amount of time so GUI.visible equals false basically me making it invisible again else so if the player does not have the game pass then it is going to go to the marketplace service it is going to prompt the game pass purchase to the player and with that specific game pass ID basically prompting so that the GUI or the prompt page or the purchase page pops up on that specific player's screen. For this tutorial, I'm going to be making our local GUI equal script.parent.parent.openGUI simply because that is more a trustworthy way. Now, another thing you can also do if you wanted to to make sure that it does work correctly, you could go and do script.parent.parent.parent.parent and make it go back to your starter GUI and then go to your screen GUI and then your other screen GUI and then from there. But it really is just going script.parent, so script.parent.parent.openGUI, that's all it's doing. So anyway, there's our GUI, and for the tutorial, we're just going to be leaving it as script.parent.parent.openGUI. So once you've gone and adjusted everything to your preference, gone and changed your ID, gone and changed the wait time, etc., and also your GUI name, you want to head over here to your local script, click on the X button, and then we want to go click on play to go test it out. So as you guys can see, we're now in the base play, and now that we've gone and actually purchased our Game Pass there through the main Roblox page, if we go click on our Game Pass here now, let's say we just join back in, you know what, I'm going to go and purchase this Game Pass, it is now going to warn us, you already own this Game Pass, basically allowing us not to be prompted to get purchase that uh, Game Pass there. So if we go click on it again, you'll be able to see you already own this Game Pass, and nothing has popped up here prompting us to purchase the Game Pass again simply because we already own that game pass we'll do it one last time here if we go click on game pass you already own this game pass and after three seconds the gui will disappear and now we're going to continue playing our game normally if you guys are a little bit lost or you don't really know what you're doing feel free to create a ticket in my discord server and we can happily help you out but anyway guys i'm going to wrap up the video here if you did enjoy i'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell and also do consider liking the video i'd really appreciate it but anyway have a lovely rest of your day and i'll see everyone in the next roblox studio video